a 120 volt, 1 to 156 volt, 1000 amp is being tested in the Ford 150, our test bed. That's where the Zilla used to reside. All right, so what we got is we've got our motor wire and our wire off of our contactor. Both uh, positive wires, our motor positive, even though it's not written on any of the instructions, and our battery positive. Both go to the positive, the B plus positive terminal on the contactor, which happens to be right here. And when you're tightening up the controller nuts and bolts, to use two wrenches, one on the other side, so that you don't put stress on your uh, controller bolts. Our battery negative goes to the negative. It's the only wire going to the negative. And our top wire here goes to our motor minus. It's stamped motor minus on it. Um, right now we're going to hook up what is labeled as the key switch. And it's a wire from the B+, plus, which I'm attaching right here on top. Now this wire, when, it's, when the key switch wire is energized with the B+, plus, which has nothing to do with your traction battery, I mean with your auxiliary battery. It's the B plus of this traction battery. And then I attach it over here and this turns the controller on. The controller's on. I've got a little uh, wire here that's gonna go to, it can either go to a relay, or there's a couple ways we can turn that on. All right, these are our two wires from our throttle box. This is our throttle box hooked up here. Of course, it's, we've got a return spring, a couple of springs, and there's also a spring in the box. Now these two wires, and it doesn't matter which one goes to which because they're coming out of the throttle box, they're black and white, they are going to go to two and three on our spade terminals. And there we have it. All right, now we'll hook back up our emergency disconnect, making sure, of course, that our car is in neutral. <laughs> 